Hello, my name is Will, and I'm with Bluebird Consultants. And today I'd like to go over the challenges we have with cross sheet references. So in Smartsheet, there are a lot of great benefits to cross sheet references. They allow you to make a formula in one sheet and point at another sheet and grab that data. So if you're wanting to make a metric sheet that maybe sums a total of, for instance, a budget sheet, it's really convenient because you could use a sum if to get all the data on the other sheet and, um, and calculate that out. We have many different benefits with it, especially like for instance, using index mesh. But one of the challenges is that if you're looking from one sheet to the other using index mesh, if for some reason that column has both numbers and strings, the index mesh sometimes does have an error. So we really recommend in this case, if you do see the error where it's just not picking up um, and it's having some sort of argument, error, you should create a second column that turns all of them to strings. This way you could look it up with that um, and if you needed to, you could transform the item back into a number if necessary because there are um, functions that can help you do that once you've retrieved the item you're looking for. The next item, and, and this is even a bigger challenge we deal with, is, is the limitations of referencing on those sheets. So many times when people are setting these up, it's not a big deal because they're referencing a small amount of data. Sometimes we have customers that use a huge table or even maybe they need to reference multiple sheets brought into one. You can only look at from one sheet to the other 100,000 cells. So that means that you could point your formulas at up to 100,000 cells, but if you needed to point at 110,000, it would cause issues. So you have to be careful with that to make sure that you're never having the scope of what your cross sheet reference looks at more than 100,000. And then the other item too is that when you're building references, each time you look at a different part of the sheet, so if you, for instance, you make a cross sheet reference for one column and then a cross sheet reference for a different column, which we do recommend because that way if people move the columns around, the reference stays with the entire column. Um, tables can be more difficult with that because if someone adjusts the columns, the table may get broken or rearranged. You, um, you can only do that up to 100,000 references. So, so you can only make 100,000 references or 100,000 other columns to look at. And so you really want to be careful and, and um, make sure that sometimes you are leveraging tables if necessary, because um, with some of our customers, we have exceeded that need. And so we've had to be careful to keep maybe small tables like two or three columns together and then reference other specific columns separately. Um, finally, the last challenge we deal with with cross sheet references are the fact that if you are to delete all the data on your sheet, um, after 30 minutes, the uh, reference will be gone. Smartsheet does basically a garbage collection on the cross sheet references. And if there's no reference being used on the sheet, then um, it will remove it and you'll have to rebuild it again, which rebuilding cross sheet references can be very annoying and frustrating. So we really recommend to at least keep one row active. Even if that row is not doing anything, maybe it's just to have labels, make sure that there's a row active using that cross sheet reference because if you delete everything on that sheet, you may lose your cross sheet reference. So thank you very much and have a nice day.